uh, Ness earlier in Squad Strike, and that is definitely very solid. I think from the the success he's had with his Captain Falcon today so far, I don't think we'll see it changed yet unless MGW and Jewel do an excellent job of making him just never recover, which is very possible with that team concept they have. It's going to be very hard for Jewel or, or Nick to get past Jewel's ledge traps as well as um, his attempted edge guards. He has not been afraid to go off stage at all throughout doubles. He goes out there with the dare, with the nair, and makes you feel extremely uncomfortable. Yeah, there's no reason to be afraid. Like, with a character that has that capability of returning to the stage, always just go at it. Mm. Like, edge guarding is so strong. You get so much off of it, and it's like, you have stocks to play around. You have a good recovery. You have everything to gain. So strong and so underutilized so far in this game. It's still brand new, and majority of the players are Smash 4 players that have transitioned to this so far in our areas. Everybody's still playing a lot of ledge trapping versus attempting edge guards. And I'm glad to see that throughout just this doubles today, more people are not afraid to go off stage. That air dodge is not good if you can get them really early. So you get them panicking off stage like that, and they've been sealing out a lot more earlier stocks. All right, so we're going into game one here. We're actually going to see... We're going to see the Palatina. I was completely wrong. All right, I like it. So it's a much less uh, specialized character, I would say, than what would come out of Ralphie's kit. And I feel like with that, it's going to allow them to be a little bit more versatile. Um, being as we're starting on Pokemon Stadium 2, the actually, I think the Palatina pick is really smart given the start as well, because it's like... You don't have to worry too much about covering a large amount of distance. You don't have to cover a um, like too heavily on the platforms or worry too much about returning to the ledge. Like Palatina could do it all fairly effectively. You know, and uh, as we've seen throughout the other matches, the Palatina has done a very excellent job. You know, what else is an excellent job just running up and punching. Jewel right in the back for trying to grab Palatina. And, you know, all that health that he recovered for not. A little bit of damage on Palu, but he got the kill instead. However, Palutena finally going down. Nick not going to die. Yep, but gets sniped by the Thunder, like we were talking about before. Jewel with you, great man. awareness. L Thunder so strong. You got to watch out for that. It has so much respectable range and power now that it's, it is a very viable sniping tool. I am loving the way that he's been multi-utilizing his tools so well in a matchup where you would assume he might be a little bit more passive. He's just been aggressive throughout the entire time and it pulls out that excellent zoning capability. I am a huge fan of Jules Robin so far in this tournament. And MGW has actually reversed their roles this time. Usually MGW is the one that is not really playing a stock tank role so far, but this time it has been altered and he's doing a good job of staying alive. My guess is that Jules is just confident playing around these two characters. I mean, you saw him playing against the other Palatinas to success so far, which is why I was very surprised that Ralphie went Palu. Uh, I think we might see, might see a potential switch going into game two, but we'll see how the rest of this match goes. And actually, Jewel finally losing uh, losing a second stop before MGW lost his first. And Red Team still at kill percent, though, so very much not an uh, uncomfortable position for Yellow Team at all. Actually forcing the air dodge out, and Nick's... I, I really like the fact that Nick's been able to regularly recover with that uh, rather poor Captain Falcon recovery, but that time getting caught at the ledge with that back air. I feel like it's just a matter that Yellow Team is not afraid to make sure that there's something in the way for Falcon, because like, otherwise, he has a solid jump. His up is not bad by any means. He has a respectable wall jump if given the opportunity. And it's like, all of that is going to make sure that Nick's coming back to the stage. But if he has to worry about a frog and a tactician flying out of space mm -hmm. constantly, then it's like, well, what do you do? I, oh, that that was not the type of timing that he was hoping for. Right As soon as Jewel went down and he got the share stock, MGW also went down, not quick enough to help save his teammate. And now he's forced into a 2 v one situation where two characters have an excellent time edge guarding this character. Oh, Nasratu actually pushing back, not allowing him to get a punisher. Yeah, they made the residual hitbox from it slightly larger, and it's just made it a much safer move. It's not, like, the safest thing in the world, but, like, compared to Smash 4, where you were a sitting duck using it, it's a lot more usable. I like the fact that we're seeing actual, you know, like, team combo attempts coming in for the red team here. We haven't been seeing a whole lot of consistent ones over the past couple matches, and I think that's been a big difference with, Nick's, with Nick and Ralphie playing so far. 
Not going to get the up smash. Jewel keeps getting away from all these attempted uh, kills. And because they haven't sealed it out yet, Jewel's starting to slowly rack this up. And, but the Nair is going to not no. do it. Nah. <laughs> but the, no, that Nair will. It. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> That was really good DI from Jewel, but you can only escape that for so long. And once again, the very last bit of Captain Falcon's in there. At least that time it was close up to get, you know, some flare on it. Yeah. But I, all these BP hits are not killing, but that just the slightest end of Captain Falcon's in there going to do it. But they'll take it every other way. Nixie and Ralphie going up game one. Um, probably just run back to the same exact stage. Actually, no, they're actually looking at counter picks. You think we see a swap back to Smashville like they did in the last set? I could see Smashville or Kalos. I think a smaller stage in general. That way Nick doesn't have as much room to run away and prepare like a, some sort of handoff between him and Ralph. Mm -hmm. I think by uh, by picking into the smaller stages like Smashville, uh, it's going to be a lot more opportunity for like the close in battles. Yeah, agreed. You know, that's actually been working to uh, very relative, like, strong success for not just MGW to zone break, but Jewel to get aggressive. And that now Ralphie can't play the way he was playing. Because Ralphie was, was playing passive enough to be in position to punish where Nick would put them. As you're seeing right there, he's already trying to confirm a hit off of that rapid jab. Both of them able to avoid getting punished there. I'm just like finding it fascinating how both of these teams are trying to control the stage, but it it looks so haphazard. Mm -hmm. Like, red team is trying to like force the battle to the ledges. They're trying to control center stage, like you know, typical doubles play. Mm -hmm. Yellow team taking things a bit more to the sky. They're like, all right, they're gonna move around a lot on the ground. Let's move to the platform. Let's we'll try to bring this battle to the skies. Mm -hmm. And then both of these plans clash. And it's just a mess. It's a disaster waiting to happen. Yes, that small stage format you were talking about before. And that Nair is going to continue to force Jewel in a bad position. Smart usage of Arc Thunder, though, to change it. And MGW with the awareness to get in there to get the up air. That was a follow from a mile away, too. And I like the fact that we're seeing that now a little bit more. The Nair uh, going to force him off stage, opting to not go for the knee potentially there. And that Nair actually going to hit a completely different target. You see Ralphie continuously digging off stage to try and get this. Finally gets the back air at the ledge. He's doing a good job of forcing the pressure on Jewel and also Nixie able to close out the stock on MGW. See, yet again, Nixie just opting to go after MGW off stage. He's been relentless in trying to seal out these early stocks and can't blame him. Both of them have explodable recoveries. And while he can well of his rage, that dare can kill really early. Is that, that was Ralphie's Ross jump? Or in there, taking the jump and taking the stock with it. And the back air at the ledge, Jewel has the ability to close out the stocks too. Back to a dead even game. It was amazing play from Jewel. And I don't even know if it was like, if he intended to use the bronze sword in there, but it just happened to work out so well. Maybe it was just the timing on it was better than anything else. Yeah, just the, like the mental awareness to go off stage, the fact that this new up B allowing Jewel to have a little bit more room to work with to make that recovery back. Like I love the fact that he's not letting them feel comfortable off stage. Good awareness from MGW to recognize Nixie trying to punish him for going after Ralphie there. And opting to recover high too to get him out of there, but gets hit by Jewel. And now he's still stuck in a situation where he can just can't touch the ground. Meanwhile, on the other side, Ralphie trying to go for the down tilt at the ledge. Fourth throw is not going to be trying, but now he's got MGW right on his tail. He mm -hmm. can't continue the ledge situation. And the F smash going to seal out the stock at MGW, recognizing he really had nowhere else to go. I Coming hate when through. Nick, I hate when Nick <laughs> does that. Like, Nick does it because he likes it and because it works sometimes. But then it also. It really is just Falcon kick through the stage. Yeah, and also he was able to get a situation there. Or what Jewel was able to get a situation there where he was recognizing Nick's aggressive play again, going out there getting yet another gift with that broad, uh, neutral air broadsword. And MGW leaving him all alone. This is not the situation you were hoping for going into this. This is the last potential stock that they have or that have left. This is a really rough 2v1 too because all of the speed behind Falcon and the tools in Palutena's kit make this nigh insurmountable, but 
Can't count him out just yet. Oh my god. That was his jump. And now, well, oh my goodness. They're kings. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you deserve the win after that. that yeah, thank you. The, the fact that he went out there and was willing to accept the up B so he can tech and get him back, I was not sure how he was going to allow him to live. What an excellent uh, like team communication to get that going. Because you do not see that from just an average team who has never teamed before. That is not